quick flick through the voluminous UCI book of rules and regulations will reveal quite a lot of rules and regulations. And they're just the ones that are written down. There are, in fact, many, many unwritten rules too. Yeah, and if we think back to the Giro d'Italia where Richie Port took a spare wheel from a mate who was not on his team, we'll see that also the riders don't even know all of the rules. Anyway, here are 10, which we think you might not know, that are quite interesting. Okay, number one. Every race leader and every stage winner is required to do some post-race TV interviews after the podium ceremony. Now, if somebody has been leading a classification for some days, they might not then have to go and do some sit-down press interviews. However, if they're a stage winner or new into a classification lead, they will be required to meet the press. Not something that I actually ever had to do. I didn't know that rule, actually. Matt. I was completely oblivious to it as well, to be fair to you, Dan. Mm. But another requirement asked of the riders, an obligation in fact, is to sign on each stage at a pre-race presentation, where they'll get onto a stage, sometimes sign on a big perspex board to add a bit of glamour to proceedings. And failure to turn up for that could require, could result in fact, in a fine of about 100 euros, 65 quid, and about 70 US dollars, according to my latest calculation. Not going to break the bank, is it? Not really, no. But you had a bit of a, you used to sign your, your name sort of differently. On yeah, I had a different you? signature for sign, just in case somebody from the jury kind of copied it and forged it and put it on my checkbook. Safety first. Did you know, I know you know, but did you guys know? I don't you, know if I know yet, I haven't heard it. That's a good point. Hmm. But did you know that it's prohibited to take a feed within the first 50 kilometres of the stage? That includes bottles and food. And also it's prohibited to take a feed in the last 20 k's of every stage. But the race jury can use their discretion, especially in very, very hot conditions, i.e. a mountain top finish in the Tour, for example. And did you know, this is another little nugget I of don't know fact, yet again. that <laughs> back in the day when I was racing, although helmets were obligatory, on a mountain top finish, you could take off your helmet at the bottom, throw it to your swanier, and ride up helmet free. Like an inverse feed zone for hats. Hmm. Wow, these really are interesting rules, Matt. We oh. are certainly not disappointed. Maybe we should do 20. I'd definitely do 20. Anyway, and the next one relates to the time limit. So simply finishing a stage of the Tour de France doesn't necessarily mean that you can then continue on the next day. Every rider has to finish within a certain time cut. It's not easy to calculate. You don't know it before the start of the stage because that time limit is based on the percentage of the winner's time and the percentage is based on the average speed that the winner has done. Got that? Yeah, yeah, I've got that. Yeah. Most of the Tour de France's iconic jerseys come from their original sponsors. Now, the leader's yellow jersey, or the Maillot Jaune, came about because the newspaper of the main sponsor, Lotto, way back in the day, had yellow pages. Simple as that. Now, the green jersey came about because the main sponsor was a gardening manufacturer. And let's face it, lots of things in your garden are green grass and leaves, for example. Yeah, and weeds. Indeed. Uh, similarly, with the polka dot jersey, which is awarded to the rider who is king of the mountains in the Tour de France, that came about because the first ever sponsor of that category was a sweet company who covered their chocolate bars in a polka dot wrapping. La Poulaine. Was it? Mm. Or just Poulaine. Threw that in, made me look like I didn't know what I was talking about. Just I'm older, that's all. The day's most aggressive rider, the Combativity Award, is basically entirely subjective and is decided upon by a panel of cycling experts. Now, we've got the Daily Award, but we also have one for the overall most aggressive rider at the end of the race. But the last time somebody won that and also won the race overall was Bernardino back in 1981. Otherwise known as the Badger or, in French, Le Blaireau, meaning Badger. Now, in the last three kilometres of stage, if you're unfortunate enough to get caught in a crash, you are actually awarded the same time as the group that you're in at the time. Now, that rule doesn't apply in, obviously, in a time trial or in a mountain top finishes, and actually only came into effect in 2005. And previous to that, you only got awarded the same time if you crashed in the last kilometre. Hmm. A lot of your crashes came at sort of 29 k to go after 2005, didn't they? What are you trying to say? And now for a few unwritten rules. Hmm. I'm just going to just check my script on this one. Have you written this? You can't write unwritten rules down. That's against the unwritten rules rules. Oh, yeah, I better try and get this one from memory then. Well, you've written it down now. I can see it. Well, let me just pull another one from the memory banks because it's obviously unwritten. Uh, how about this? Respect the yellow jersey. Now, an unwritten rule isn't in the rule books is that you shouldn't take advantage of any misfortune that should befall the Mayo Jean. So, for example, if the yellow jersey had to have a puncture, or a crash or a mechanical, 
the bunch and the rest of the riders will often ease up to allow for time for the Mayo Jean to get safely back in the pack. Although there have been exceptions over the years, which we won't talk about now because we haven't got time, but perhaps it could be the subject of another yeah. video. Cool rule, albeit unwritten. Mm -hmm. uh, the next of those unwritten rules regards the final day of racing, which in the modern era has traditionally been a circuit race around the Champs-Élysées in Paris. Now, it's completely ceremonial on the lead up to those circuits. So there'll be no attacking. You'll see riders sipping champagne and the team of the race leader will get to lead everybody else onto the final circuits. And once they do start racing, it's a day for the sprinters and not for the general classification men. So for example, back in the year that Alberto Contador beat Cadel Evans by just 23 seconds, we didn't see anything of Evans trying to attack and take back time. Okay, oh, it's God. your turn, Matt, to do the final rule. I've told him it's going to be a corker, so make it a good one. Well, I do my best. Um, there's no guarantees, of course, but um, you know, it's all about trying, isn't it? It's mm. all about perseverance and effort. Come on, get on with it. Okay, now this rule, it's more, it's not so much applied to the Tour de France, though it clearly is Tour de France based, but it's got a cycling based or pro cycling based, and it is never attack in the feed zone. Mm. Again, it's not in the books, it's completely unwritten, but again, the feed zone is exactly what it says on the tin. It's a place, it's a zone where you get food from, and it's all about rest and recuperation, refueling, and everybody's in the same boat, but I've seen rods attacking the feed Yeah, zone, that rule has been broken, or that unwritten rule has been broken a couple of times. And you, you, you're sort of chastised, aren't you? I mean, physically, by the peloton, abuse hurled at you, and even cheese rolls on some occasions have known to be hurled. Hmm. Well, I hope you found those 10 rules just as interesting as we did. Uh, we've got loads more great content for you on the channel, so if you click just up there, you can find 10 very interesting Tour de France facts. And if you click just down there, you'll find the rest of our Tour de France content. There's loads there for you. It certainly is. And to subscribe to GCN, click on this. It's the unwritten rule book. Don't attack in the feet. You wrote that one down as well. No, it's... Don't give away our secrets. It's an unwritten rule. You've written it down. Unwritten rule. Would you like that? Click on something that's invisible. Unwritten rules. <laughs> that was totally spur of the moment as well. I didn't plan that. It just happened mm. in my mind. Oh. I'll put it down now. It's quite a big book. There we go. Put hands to make no. an invisible book for no. end board. Can you finish it off now? 